the team from Tamil Nadu just need a draw to clinch the title. But Gokulam Kela uh, would have to win this at any cost. Uh, but uh, let's, I, I'm, I'm myself Sohan Poddar and I'm joined by the CEO of League and Development, Mr. Sunandadhar. Welcome to the show, Sunandar sir. Thank you, thank you, Sean. And well, the Hero Indian Women's League, we have witnessed an extended format where 12 teams participated, vying for the top spot and now two teams remaining for the title. Has the expectations uh, been fulfilled? Uh, well, Shoham, obviously, uh, this year has been tough for all of us. Means last two years have been tough. Um, unfortunately, we had to take a break from IWL. Uh, the last edition was in 1920. Uh, because of the pandemic, we couldn't hold IWL last year. So it was a challenge coming back uh, and doing the IWL this year in a bio bubble. And obviously, the greater challenge was to uh, make the IWL bigger uh, with more teams, uh, more matches, uh, longer duration. Maintaining the bubble for longer duration was always a challenge. Uh, but I think thanks to everyone, uh, the local organizing committee, uh, Football Association of Orissa, government of Orissa, and obviously um, the teams, everything has turned out to be very well. And uh, we are on the last day with the top two teams playing and uh, couldn't have asked for a better finale. Well, the government of Odisha providing infrastructural aids to all the 12 teams. How crucial is the role of a government in terms of the mental strength and moral booster for the teams and the clubs? Uh, well, over the last few years, we have seen that Odisha has uh, truly become the sports capital uh, of the country. And it's not only about football, but hockey in a big way. Um, athletics and other sports are equally getting the prominence uh, national and international tournaments in Orissa. And um, we have obviously over the past few years worked very closely with the Orissa government. Um, our teams have uh, stayed here, the Indian Arrows uh, have been based out here. And uh, the support has been tremendous. The infrastructure development which we have seen in Bhuvaneshwar and overall in Orissa has been fantastic. Obviously, we are looking all. We are all looking forward for the um, uh, FIFA World Cup in October. Uh, Risa uh, Bhuvaneshwar is one of the chosen venues. In the past, we have had Super Cup. So the support that we have always got from Risa government has been fantastic. And this year also, as I said, it was difficult for all of us. Uh, so the support uh, in these difficult times, uh, Risa has always um, extended its arm of friendship to All India Football Federation and we are ever grateful for that. Uh, we have seen two local teams from Odisha participate in this edition of the Hero Indian Women's League, Odisha Sports and Odisha Police rising students previously were the champions of the 2017 edition. Uh, how was this transformation uh, possible in the state of Odisha? I think over the last five, six years, we have seen a great development uh, of women's football, especially, especially in Orissa. And uh, credit obviously goes to Football Association of Orissa for that. And also the support that the Orissa government has given to them. Um, rising students won the second edition of uh, Hero IWL. And this year we've had uh, two teams, two local teams playing. Uh, more than 60, 65 um, local Oriya girls playing. And I think they have done really well. Uh, Sports Hostel has finished in the top half, which is very creditable. Uh, we have had uh, quite a few seasoned teams playing to uh, playing against them and uh, really performing well. I think that bo uh, goes a long way for the, um, you know, the development of women's football, especially in Orissa. I'm sure this will, um, uh, this will bring in a lot more younger players into the scene. And hopefully with the years uh, uh, ahead, uh, we would like Rising Star, we would see maybe in uh, future years more Orissa teams playing and winning the championship. And well, most of the results in this edition of the Hero Indian Women's League have been lopsided with one-sided affairs. Do you think increase in number of foreign players uh, from next season onwards uh, would make the competition a lot more competitive? See, it's, it's, that's a difficult question because um, we have seen in the men's also uh, over the past few years, we have tried and uh, bring down the foreign players because that's what the national team coach also wants, that m more and more local players play so that it gives him opportunity to scout for local talent. But yes, uh, foreign players bring in their own uh, charm into the tournament. Uh, we have restricted the number of foreign players in IWL. 
but uh, whether we need to increase it or whether this is what uh, is the best model, I think uh, our, the technical uh, department and the technical committee of the AIFF are the better place to take a decision on that. We'll obviously consult with the national team coaches and then we'll come out with the final. But as of now, I think uh, we are good with the number of foreigners that are playing in Hero IWL. And well, the introduction of the Indian Arrows in the Hero Indian Women's League, like we have the Indian Arrows men's team in I-League for the past 12 years. It has been a massive success. We've seen a lot of players emerge to the system, expecting a similar sort of scenario with the women's uh, team as well? Ideally, yes, because we have seen that uh, the Indian Arrows, the boys, have been uh, there for last eight, nine years now. And uh, I think the current Indian senior team, uh, maybe 70, 80% of those boys at some point in their career were part of the Indian Arrows. Um, so obviously the success of Indian Arrows in the boys prompted us to try the Indian Arrows in the girls also. This is the first edition of it. And I think they have done reasonably uh, quite well because they also finished in the top half uh, in, among the top five so coming uh, just before the tournament and uh, you know these are all very young players and playing against seasoned professionals out here and finishing in the top half I think um, the Indian arrows uh, the coaching staff and the players deserve a lot of credit for that and I think this is something which uh, in the long run will uh, really um, prosper well for the senior national team. Uh, we've seen a lot of teams this season, not only in the Hero Indian Women's League, but also in the I-League, come from remote areas. And Martha Rukmani is one of the recent examples. How was this transformation possible in terms of bringing up clubs from areas which is not known as a footballing hotbeds? I think that's a very, uh, very good and valid question at the right time. Uh, we have been in, at the All India Football Federation, we have been trying to expand the game, take it to new horizons, new centers. Uh, we have obviously started working more uh, closely with the state association, trying to empower them, uh, trying to convince them to start leagues, both at the boys, girls, and also at the youth level. And I think uh, credit to a lot of these state associations. Uh, one thing is for sure, the stronger the league you have, it's the uh, stronger teams you get out of that. And that is the reason we see a lot of teams coming from uh, new states. Uh, we have seen um, in I-League also, team coming from Rajasthan, uh, doing very well. And uh, as you rightly said, a team from uh, Chhattisgarh, uh, Mata Rukmani, uh, from deep inside the forests. And um, it's a real credit. It's, I think each one of them have been champions in their own way because they have become champions in the state and come for IWL. So all these 12 teams are champions. And Mata Rukmani really represents the heart of uh, India. And uh, I wish there will be more such teams in the near future uh, from other states uh, which will come and play at the national level. Well, Kerala organized the Santosh Trophy, West Bengal organized the Hero I League, and now Odisha organizing the Hero Indian Women's League. How these partnerships are taking Indian football forward together? Well, obviously, um, as, uh, as the situation was, uh, we had to have these leagues in a central, uh, centralized format. And we're having the I League, the Hero I League, for the last two years in Kolkata. Um, obviously, a lot of support from the state association, uh, in, in that case, the IFA. And um, also, we have taken the, the second division was in Bangalore, and now uh, coming out here uh, for the Hero IWL. Uh, obviously, the support that we have got from the local community out here, whether it's the Football Association of Orissa or the government, the sports department has been fantastic. It wouldn't have been possible without their support. Because obviously our man uh, power is also stretched uh, with so many tournaments happening, maintaining the bio bubble and ensuring the safety and security of all the players. So without the support of the local uh, community out here, uh, a big thank you to the KIIT, uh, which uh, we use for accommodation of the teams and officials that have been fantastic. Uh, no complaints from any teams from there. So it, it was a team effort and that is what is required. Um, in these difficult times, I think uh, that is uh, what kept us uh, the hopes alive and uh, hopefully uh, I'm sure we would 
again love to come back to Orissa and um, take the game forward again. And well, Gokulam Kerala in recent history is one of the most successful clubs in Indian football. And after Viva Kerala went defunct back in 2010, and there was a lack of clubs in the top flight of Indian football from Kerala. Then Kerala Blasters came in 2014 and then Gokulam Kerala in 2017. They defended the Hero I League quite successfully this season and would repeat the same uh, tonight if they managed to clinch a victory against Setu Madurai because they were the winners of the Hero Indian Women's League's 2019 edition and also became the first club from India to play in the AFC Women's Club Championship. So how do you see to this meteoric rise of Gokulam Kerala? I think all credit to the management. Uh, and I think uh, Gokulam Kerala really um, uh, signifies the way the football and overall football should be developed at the club level. And I think credit uh, should be given for uh, them not only concentrating on the boys, but also equal concentration on the girls. And I think they're the only club among the top teams in India who has got a team in the boys as well as the girls at the top level. And uh, this is no mean task. And obviously, uh, it helps that uh, they are very serious about their performance. We see, we, we just saw that they were the first team in the history of um, I-League to win back-to-back -back, um, championships. And uh, at this moment, they're standing on the threshold of history. If they win the um, uh, Hero IWL today, they'll be back-to-back -back winners also that, that. Kerala winning uh, the Santosh Trophy. So it seems that Kerala is the toast uh, of the nation at the moment. And it's, it's fantastic to see uh, the growth of football in Kerala. We all know the passion that they have, the crowds that they have. We recently saw the crowds um, in uh, Manjeri during the Santosh Trophy. So uh, the performance is obviously backed by the support. And it's fantastic to have teams like uh, Gokulam who are really contributing. And also, they have uh, contributed a lot in the grassroots and new development. And every year in I-League or in IWL now, they get local players uh, and throw them into the deep end. And they really survive and uh, bring the best out of the teams. So I think a lot, lot of credit to uh, Gokulam Kerala. And your take from today's game, as Gokulam Kerala, they can live the title with a draw. And Setu Madurai, they need the victory at any cost. Do you think which way is the trophy going to go? It's going to the south, that is quite guaranteed. Yeah, uh, I don't want to uh, put my money on, 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 the, on the results. Uh, but yeah, I, mean, so I think the draw worked out perfectly for us. Uh, and uh, these two teams, uh, Setu and uh, Gokulam, have been the best two teams of the league. Uh, both unbeaten, uh, have won all their matches. And uh, it's a perfect draw, the way we uh, made it, so that they're facing on the final day, the last match. And the winner takes it all. Obviously, um, Setu needs to win it. Um, Gokulam needs just a draw. But I'm sure Gokulam won't be playing for the draw. Uh, that's a dangerous way to uh, you know, go down. But uh, So it will be very exciting. Both uh, teams have um, uh, uh, quite a few stars in them, Indian players, current Indian national team players. So the competition will be tough. And uh, hopefully, the best team today will win and lift the trophy. And well, before I end this, my last question is to you. The coming season, Durant Cup is going to kick start in the month of August, ISL in October till March, and followed by a Super Cup. We are having an extended format in Indian football domestic season. How do you look at this? Was it the need of the hour? Definitely. Uh, the idea was to have more matches for the players and have an extended eight, nine months calendar. And uh, that's when uh, we sat down with all the stakeholders and decided that we'll have the curtain raiser uh, with the Durant Cup, uh, which will be also a bigger tournament this year with 20 teams uh, in, in four groups, uh, which will go on till September with I-League and ISL starting in October, going up to March, and with the Super Cup um, in April and May. That's for the boys and uh, the girls also. The plan is to have the um, Hero IWL from December. So that's the best uh, weather to play football. And I'm sure that will give the opportunity to girls to perform even better. And uh, hopefully, we'll keep the momentum and have the uh, tournament in a bigger format. 
so that that gives an opportunity but i think other than the senior team tournaments i'm more excited that after a two year gap we'll have the youth leagues back um we have the three youth leagues in the boys the 13 15 and 18 very excited uh, to say that we are planning to have under 15 for the first time in girls along with under 17 because we feel that the youth leagues are the backbone which is uh, from where the players will come out the players of tomorrow will come out and uh, we have extended youth league and hopefully we'll have more and more states participating and organizing the youth leagues at the state level and then the champion teams qualifying for the final round so very excited that after a two-year gap we'll have the youth leagues and uh, at least five youth leagues for boys and girls. So that, that's, that's the highlight of next season. Well, the matches, the 66 matches went live in Eurosport this season, the Hero Indian Women's League. Are you satisfied from production point of view? Well, I'm a little tough guy to satisfy. Uh, the production was good, but I, I'm sure we can do a much better job. But under the circumstances, I think it was, it was a good effort from everyone, as I said. To make an event successful, we need to have a team working behind. And um, the production team was definitely part of that team. And uh, uh, we'll obviously, we'll all sit down after the tournament and see how we can make it even better next year. But uh, it has been a fantastic um, 65 matches. And hopefully, the 66th would be equally good. Thank you so much. That brings us to the end of our pre-match discussions. And now let's wait for the kickoff, which is going to be soon within the next 15 minutes. Stay tuned. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> I'm so bad at this. I cannot even draw a bird. <laughs> you can draw anything, any kind of caricature. Anything. No, I'm saying I don't even know how to draw a bird. Forget drawing anything at all. You ready? Okay. Okay, guess it. Guess it. Take a random guess. I'll show you that camera. Look at this. Similar, no, sir? This is a tree. This is a tree. That's not a tree. Okay. Okay, yeah, this one she gets. Oh! <laughs> so it's one one. This one you do one. It's one one. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My drawing is really bad. That's what I told you. I, I cannot even draw a bird. So. <laughs> Should we give her 1.5? Yeah, for the that, that's not fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see it after my round is done. Okay? No, 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 it's no, not that's only fair. Give, no? I cannot feel anything. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Can we have another round of the drawing again? <laughs> I didn't yeah, feel anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and do smaller drawings, yeah. Smaller? Huh. Okay. I drew a sun okay, and a smaller, tree. Smaller. Okay. Smaller. Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's one one. What? Yeah. What? <laughs> 
You want to again, go again? Again. Okay. <laughs> and well, it was Sethu Madurai's top spot, and then it was Gokulam's, and it was Kickstarts too for some time, but it has come down to two teams still standing: Sethu Madurai versus Gokulam Kerala in the final of the Hero Indian Women's Leagues. In match number 66 to decide the winner and if this season has taught us anything never write a script before a football match and never predict it and never ever write off a team anything can happen in this game and with that hope Setu Madurai will take to the pitch against a side which only needs a draw to defend the title and the winners of the 2019 Indian Women's League the country's top professional football uh, league it has been a meteoric rise for Setu In just two years' time, and that has culminated into a 3-1 win uh, by a squad of women who hails from villages and towns across the length and breadth of Tamil Nadu. And the sponsors have been the backbone of everything they do. And more importantly, their partnerships with the government, with educational institutions like Lady Dock College in Madurai and in Anamala University helps them fulfill their assurances to the players. And the goal of this arrangement is simple, deepen and a talent pool strengthening the bench and help the girls play more confidently and well uh, Chetri, we are all positive the title. Let's and find we are out looking what he forward has to for say. this match and uh, it's been very even on the table between your side and Gokulam yeah. so how do you plan on taking them on today yeah like I said like you see uh, we didn't have much uh, time to prepare something different or whatever we did few tactical things and it's, it was mostly for this well, this match, it was mostly, uh, you can say, mental preparation. So I think uh, we look good in the training pitch also yesterday. So hopefully everything will be smooth today. Can you give us a bit more insight on the mental preparation bit? Yeah, I just wanted uh, them to have a belief, uh, to believe in themselves, like they are the best. So if they can overcome that, I think uh, we'll be coming out with three points. Thank you, coach, and all the best for the game. Well, Setu Madurai lineup for this evening. It is turning out to be a very interesting encounter, and Crispin Chetri likes to tinker with his team. But tonight, there is only one change, as the defence remains the same and has big task to stop Gokulam Kaila's attackers, as Karthika is the player who comes in for Durga, and the front three will have support from playmaker Anju Tamang, Renu, and Elizabeth, who will look to drift wide and use their pace and molden by a fit and now firing. Sandhya, the number seven, and Crispin, like all the fans of the club, will know that do, they do not need a win, they need just a convincing win. And looking forward to this first season uh, that they have gone down to the final day and it's up to Setu Madurai to touch down the misery of two years ago uh, behind them and go out there and get full three points. And well, the substitutes for both the sides, of course, the likes of Elizabeth Van Lal Maui, Devneta Roy, all of them available for Crispin Chetri tonight. Uh, talking about Gokulam Kerala, uh, the IWL has thrown up riveting storylines and surprises winners in the last few seasons. But Gokulam Kaila, six-year-old club, will be banking upon its good run of form in decent tournaments and a formidable squad under the tutelage of the head coach Anthony Andrews and win the title and defend it like the men's team. Uh, they've had an ideal build-up uh, to the Hero Indian Women's League season, bagged their first scoreline Kaila Women's League title. And the Malabarians were almost also became the first Indian club to play in the AFC Women's Club Championship in the month of December last year, where they went down to top West Asian clubs in the AFC Cup. And well, Anthony Andrews, the head coach, excited for today's clash. Let's hear it from the man himself. We are very excited to play against the former champions at C2FC. Uh, it's been an incredible run for us in this season, and we are looking forward uh, for this final game. We will approach this game in a very positive mindset and uh, we, are, we have done our homework and I'm hoping for my girls to put up a good show. Is there anything specific that you've worked on specifically because you're facing Setu who are like your team yet to lose a game? Yeah, we have seen Setu and uh, they are, as I earlier mentioned, they are very good in, in attacking phase. So we are. We need to be very careful but we have done our homework and we are uh, going to take our chances early. Chess coach and all the now let's get into the team news of Gokulam Kerala for this evening and one change from Anthony Andrews uh, one of them was the obvious with the return of Somia into the 11 
and she will partner Kashmina and the two full backs who have started every league game so far. Wintan is out uh, due to national duties and Ashalata Ritu Rani all starts today for Gokulam. And of course, Manisha Kalyan, she already has 13 goals, so that is the quality quantified. And up front is El Shaddai, who has been unstoppable since joining Gokulam Kela. And one more goal, and El Shaddai could also become the club's all time top goal scorer. And it is the biggest night sitting at the top of the pile. It's up to Setu Madurai to knock them off. And Anthony Andrews has done a fantastic job, none more so than in December, bringing in El Shaddai. Her goals have helped Gokulam Kela side to propel to the top of the table and will want to see it over the line tonight. Well, the referee for today's game is Kanika Burman, and she is going to be assisted by Reshmi Chetri and P. Suman. The fourth official for today's game is Ranjita Devi and match commissioner Sudhir Menon. Well, Setu Madurai and Gokulam Kela both on equal number of points, but the fact that remains the punchline in this new chapter is that Gokulam is even do it with a draw, but Setu Madurai can only do it with a victory tonight. And whoever puts the ball in the back of the net wins it usually as simple as that. Yet it is not because the same task can be meant to sound as complicated as possible. And well, somewhere between those two realities lies the nature of the sport. But tonight, there is a slight test. And Satu Madurai will have to beat Gokulam Kela, as most of you already know. And anything other than that, the Malabarians can still win the Hero Indian Women's League title. And well, Satu Madurai have been here in this situation before last campaign. And Gokulam need just a draw and sometimes that may not be very good psychologically. And of course, the likes of Sandhya, Manisha, all players with performances in them, to win games on their own but tonight is about stepping up it's about stepping up in the big game stepping up when it matters and what is fantastic that we have been blessed with a season where we have said that again and again it's time now for the action to happen number number seven Sandhya is going to lead the Gokulam the Setu Madurai team from the left flank and at the Chauhan between the sticks is the, the India International is the skipper of the Gokulam Kerala Football Club and for the second time in two years after highs and lows and some magnificent goals and entertaining draws the champions will be decided in the final day so friends families and fans hold tight uh, because the final drop in this roller coaster still has 90 minutes left and this is the Hero Indian Women's League. Are you ready then? Uh, 310 kilometers separating these two cities. Uh, and in a vast country like India, 310 kilometers is nothing. But in football, one point is everything. And uh, Seto Madurai against Gokulam Kerala. Hopeful champions elect against the title favorites. And so the curtains come down on this season of the Hero Indian Women's League uh, this evening. But not without Setu Madurai and Gokulam Kela capping it with one last fight. For fans watching this, an unprecedented season like no other comes to an end. But whoever gets their hands on the trophy will usher in a brand new era in an incredible way. It's a battle of the top two in a summit clash at the Kalinga Stadium. And we are just underway. Move aside mediocrity because some serious class is in order. An early entry into the Setu Madurai area. From Gokulam Kela, it was El Shaddai drifting onto the left channel. Now the ball is back with Asharata Devi. Gokulam will look to pile on the pressure right from the word go. A lovely given goes Somia running into space and she is chased by Setu Madurai's number 13 Kaushalya. Attacks the byline, gets the cross in. But easily collected by the goalkeeper Somia. And both Aditi Chauhan and Somia have conceded only three goals this season in the Hero Indian Women's League. 
And Elizabeth bringing it down. A heavy touch and Kashmina recovers. And Gokulam Kerala no. Uh, they can even do it with a point, but sometimes uh, that kind of a, a calculation uh, can be difficult for teams to navigate. You have to do it with a win, sometimes can be a blessing in disguise for the teams. Uh, there's no fallback plan uh, for Setu Madurai, they have to win it. And now, uh, pressing high, the team in blue. Uh, Rashalat Devi, she's got plenty of experience in her locker to hold the move off. Uh, the India International and Ranjana Chanu uh, making that clearance and throw in for Setu Madhuri and expecting a tactical game. In the first uh, 30 minutes, uh, both the teams will try to uh, have a look at each other's uh, game plan. And Gokulam Kaila just dipping their toes onto it uh, before placing their best foot forward. In comes the cross and easily dealt with. And a bit of a pressure, Ashalata Devi. And that brings a corner kick for Seto Madhuri. The first corner of the game within the first couple of minutes. And look to swing in a telling ball. An outswing floater goes up for it. Manisha Kalyan doing her part of defensive duty. Shot comes in from Anju Tamang. A sharp deflection and that's the opening goal for Setu Madurai. Gokulam Kaila defense caught napping. And the corner kick have finally worked for the team in blue. And the former champions are celebrating. Gokulam Kaila went down against Indian Arrows. And once again finds themselves trailing. And on the decided day, it is the Judgment Day headliner in the Hero Indian Women's League and a rude awakening for Gokulam Kerala. As Setu Madurai scored from the first move itself and El Shaddai meanwhile is cutting a very frustrated figure. Let's have a look at the corner. Misjudging the flight of the ball, Asharata Devi, she stood firm and going up for it was the number 15. A shot from Anju Tamang taking a lucky deflection for Renu and she nods it into the back of the net. An excellent start. Breakneck beginning. There's some early nerves involved in the Gokulam Kaila defense, maybe feeling the brunt of defending a title. The men's team was quite successful in doing so at the Salt Lake Stadium against Marvel and Sporting in front of a jam-packed Marvel and Sporting fans. And Setu Madurai just proving that they are no pushovers. They have come here to make a statement. A slight sluggishness in the Gokulam Kaila defense and it's been exploited by Setu Madurai. This is Somia, ball from deep, El Shaddai is chasing, but she is pulled from behind and it is a free kick for Gokulam Kerala. And after 65 games, it comes down to Setu Madurai facing Gokulam Kerala. The top two teams in action for the very first time this season, a new beginning for new legacy. The two teams will showcase ambition and passion and tonight a new star will take the lights. Heroes will emerge, history will be made. Only one team can be the champions and create new legacy. Who will it be is the question. And meanwhile, an early yellow card been flashed out by Manika uh, Kanika Burman, today's referee. Uh, she has been in charge of this nail biting of an encounter. And Dalima Chiba in set piece duties for Gokulam Kerala. Uh, Chiba floats it towards the back post. Hera comes in. Uh, just had to keep it underneath the crossbar. Out jumps her marker was Ratan Bala Devi. It was Elizabeth, the Kenyan forward at the back post, defending the number 10. But she somehow managing to out jump uh, Setu Madurai's jersey number 27 and get the header away. But thankfully for Gokulam and thankfully for Setu Madurai, it was not on target and it is a goal kick.
Uh, Sandhya played it out. Stung by this reversal, Gokulam, they need a quick response. His tongue may grace at full stretch. Now they are defending with all hands on deck, Setu Madhuri. And from now on, their plan will be to go all out and get the second goal, get the third goal. If they sit back and defend, it can be quite risky against this Gokulam Kela team who are ruthless going forward. And that's the confirmation of the yellow card. It's given to the number 24 of Seto Madurai, uh, Mitchell Castana. Uh, we've had 296 goals this season in the Hero Indian Women's League in 65 matches. And if you count uh, that strike from Seto Madurai, it's the 297th one in 65 and a half matches. Seto Madurai really getting under the skin of Gokulam Kela, giving them a taste of their own medicine. In many ways, one may feel like the ultimate expression of modern Indian football, a club with history and pride, and against one of the newer teams, and the hero Indian Women's League in its fullest with the quickest breaks and the most audacious goals, the biggest tackles, and of course, the most crafty flicks from the players on the pitch. And two of the most cerebral managers, one obsessed with the complexities of the game of justifying who he is, and the other simplifying football in the most delightfully effective ways in Crispin Chetri. And so can Setu Madurai do the unthinkable here. Uh, come what may, this has already been a season with sparkling storylines. Uh, seven and a half odd minutes on the clock. It's gone out of play, an injury to a Gokulam Kela player. Now play stopped momentarily. Uh, Gokulam Kela has said to Madurai aware of the fact that Gokulam Kela have got plenty of firepower in their ranks. Now one nil is never a safe score line in the game of football. Those uh, margins can be popped very easily. We saw them make a comeback against the Arrows. But it has so been the case in the Hero Indian Women's League. Teams getting their plans right against Gokulam have troubled them. We saw SSB in the first half against Gokulam Kerala. And keeping things tight at the back. The Arrows as well. I finished at one all in the first half, but it was a narrow escape for the Malabarians. Uh, El Chadai. Uh, coming to the rescue and scoring the equalizer, giving them the lead. And after scoring the equalizer late in the first half, and that story, that win is in the past now. In football, one has to look in the present. Uh, winners of this game will qualify for the AFC Club Championship next year. And now Kashmina. Pouring forward, Gokulam Kela. Manisha Kalyan with a flash of pace goes past the marker as if she did not exist. Manisha Kalyan keeps on going, but Kaushalya steps in and stops her on her tracks. With those long, spindly legs, Manisha Kalyan, she's a terrier down the left channel. And both these players, Ranjana Chanu and Manisha Kalyan, combines very well within uh, the game. And Manisha also tracks backs and supports Ranjana Chanu. That is quite the requirement of modern day football. Now Sandhya and Dali Machiba stepping up. It's a 50 50 situation. Keeper somehow managing to get there first. Uh, keeping Dangmei Grace at bay. But Kokula Kerl at least sh showing some positive intent. Uh, most of the fans in the Twitter uh, uh, put their money on the Malabarians. And now it's uh, stolen away by Elizabeth in a very, very dangerous area. And Kartiga had to run behind to arrange it. Pavitra on the overlap, kept in play. Pavitra riding the challenge from Somia. And gets caught out there to Dali Machiba. Short passing build up from Gokulam. They are feeling the heat here. 
but they have got plenty of experience in their ranks to ride the storm to mount a comeback five india current national team players ashalata devi dali machiba aditi chauhan ranjana chanu ritu rani and do not forget manisha kalyan as well one of the brightest prospects of indian football el shadai making inroads inside the penalty area and a penalty has been awarded to gokulam kela as kanika barman points to the spot as el shadai was nicked from behind straight onto her shins let's have a closer look at the action replay that was the challenge from the number 24 michel she's already on a yellow a sent off here i'm going to add insult to injury and that was that extended left foot from michel bringing down el shadai and a penalty for gokulam kela and we are off to a sublime start here at the kalinga stadium in the battle of supremacy which team going to have the last laugh as the hero indian women's league unfolding stories of some indomitable spirits it is unfolding a new chapter in indian football will there be a redemption here uh, can the goalkeeper somia redeem herself and make one of the most vital saves of the season el shadai is taken out for treatment and the responsibility going to lie on the shoulders of ashalata devi Uh, she has already converted to one spot kick and that was against kickstart football club uh, can she repeat the obvious here tonight uh, here at the kalinga stadium is the question el chadai is slightly limping she is at the top of the pile when it comes to goal scoring and looks favorite to back the golden boot 19 goals and four hat tricks for the ghanian uh, center forward and ashalata devi rolling up her sleeves and i to i contact with somia is this the moment for gokulam kela are they on the road to resurgence we have seen few wonderful players in this tournament uh, missing spot kicks ashalata devi will be under a bit of a pressure it's never easy and got to keep a calm head she's got a nerve of steel here goes ashalata devi and the goalkeeper judged the right way but the pace on the ball uh, took the keeper by surprise and out of somia's reach and finally gokulam kela back on level terms within the first quarter of this game and it's even stevens here at the kalinga stadium a look at the spot kick placing it into the bottom corner keeper at full stretch still not managing to get the feel of the ball and it is an area where even the best goalkeepers can't get their placement towards inch perfect from the central defender and it's one all here Sandhya, she split it out. She is going to be Setu Madurai's biggest creative force, the number seven, uh, with her mazy runs down the left channel. And Dali Machiba will have her job cut out today. Arifa also has a big task on hand to stop Manisha Kalyan. It's just the beginning of the game. Uh, we will see teams open up. as the game uh, progresses a decent tempo already to this game a kashmina a tad too long for manisha kalyan just asking a bit too much from the youngster manel chadai the prolific ghanian striker has taken the hero indian women's league by storm with her dazzling scoring form for gokulam she is all set to make history by becoming the first woman from ghana to be the top scorer of the tournament 
Bala Devi, of course, is the all-time top goal scorer in the history of the Hero Indian Women's League with 35 goals. And being a foreigner, El Chadai, everyone needs some time to adjust, but that hasn't been the case for, it, uh, for her. Uh, she has been with the team for a few months now and everyone makes her feel at home. And the Hero Indian Women's League is a good platform for exposure to many players like her. Uh, I can see Elizabeth as well from Kenya. Uh, the efforts, the enthusiasm, the passion of everyone uh, makes the league so competitive and interesting. She aims to score 20 goals and set a record for herself. And Gokulam Kela on a mission here from the right-hand side, Dangme Grace. Uh, not the ball. A few hot words exchanged uh, between uh, Dangme Grace and the number 11 of Setu Madurai. And that is Grace Lalrampari. Both the namesakes, in fact, having a go at each other. A, f a back hit flick from El Chadai. And not on point, straight to the keeper, though. And Gokulam Kela will bridge down the gaps. They've got plenty of experience. Now, once they reorganize and regroup, they shut down the gaps. And mount you know, those forward moves at a breakneck pace. It's all about Setu Madhuri matching with them uh, in pace. You know, once they fail to do so, it's going to be a task for Setu Madhuri to get the control of the game as Gokulam Kela already having a vice like grip. Dangme Grace with a heavy touch. This is Sandhya. Just near the center circle. The ball is recollected. And Gokulam Kela have it back. Cross field pass for Manisha Kalyan. And Arifa was very alert. A tussle going on uh, between Grace and Renu. And now venturing forward, Sandhya gets the helping hand uh, from Kartiga. This is Pavitra had to go through a lot of hardships uh, to reach at this level. And excellent body swerve from Elizabeth. Ranjana Chanu with the firm header away. El Chadai uh, dropping deep to recover the ball for Gokulam. So far she's been devoid of service and now tricking her way past El Chadai, making good grounds already. And she's got defenders on her heels Riding off a couple of challenges, Somia El Chadai with a cross in a wonderful technique, but the header just couldn't generate plenty of power with her neck muscle. And it was Dangmei Grace's header not finding the target. And the chance goes begging for the team in Maroon. Uh, talking about Maroon, another team comes to mind is Mohan Bagan, the side from Kolkata and Gokulam Kaila. They have trounced both East Bengal Mohan Bagan and Mohan Sporting as well. And defeated Mohan Bagan and East Bengal during the Durant Cup semi final. And fresh uh, from that victory against Mohan Bagan in the AFC Cup, the group stage match as well, almost a week ago. Uh, Kolkata are proving to be a happy hunting ground for the Malabarians. And Praveen, the Gokulam Kela owner, will be a very happy man. Uh, see his side uh, do remarkably well. And now Sandhya, she certainly has a plan here. But that plan is foiled by Ratan Baladevi. The sitting midfielder of Gokulam Kela. And Dangme Grace trying to be proactive, but Lalram Pari making sure that, that is not quite possible. And not at least for the time being. Our first 20 minutes. Both the teams trying to impose themselves more on the ball. And Gokulam Kela looking to stretch Seto Madurai down the flanks and open up the center. 
you know, the likes of Grace El Shaddai and Somia will be looking to make late runs inside the box and outfox the Setu Madurai defense. Both the teams conceded four goals. And Gokulam Kela, they cannot afford to think about the medals. They cannot afford to think about the trophy at present. Uh, they got to think about the remaining 69 minutes of this game. And when it is a potential title decider, you cannot uh, settle for anything less. There is always something special on the cards. And all the players present in the field of play will be fighting for their little positions. And if anyone uh, gets into those positions, will have to win those individual battles. And say to Madurai, I cannot afford to lose their, lose their bottle tonight. And Manisha Kalyan, hero Indian women's leagues, uh, crowning glory in a shining jewel. Uh, she has been an important ingredient uh, to the way Gokulam Kola go forward, down the left, down the right, through the middle, willing, wicked. It was a wicked deflection from Mashalata Devi, which led to that goal being conceded by Gokulam Kela. But she can't cancelled out her wickedness uh, by converting from the spot kick. Uh, wickedness cancelled out via a smart uh, penalty take. Sandhya, a slight deflection of a blue shirt. No nonsense uh, from the goal scorer herself. And we can see sizable fans on the stands. And lots of invitees and uh, VIP dignitaries in, in attendance. Uh, the Odisha government doing exceedingly well in making sure the Hero Indian Women's League happens despite all the odds, breaking barriers, uh, the world football going through a difficult time uh, due to the COVID pandemic, uh, putting our life out of gear. Uh, now the world is healing and with uh, the resumption of this beautiful sport in India, a sign of better days to come. And hopefully from uh, the coming season, we will witness fans in the stands. This is Somia, and not the greatest of the touches. And she is uh, quite aware of that fact herself, that she is a much better player and can do much, much better. But it is those nerves of the final and the butterflies in the stomach yet to settle down, Ritu Rani, Excellent covering, shielding Elizabeth, wins the ball but loses out. Setu Madurai, this is looking very, very dangerous. And heart in the mouth kind of stuff. And so, so close, Setu Madurai. And look at that. And that was Renu. Ritu Rani. Just fails to win the ball off her lost her marker completely. Uh, Renu quickly set off uh, but the angle slightly went against her. Now El Shaddai very composed on the ball. A certain calmness that the Ghanian adds uh, to her gameplay it makes it look so so interesting and and that has been one of the strong points for Gokulam Kela this season. And they will be missing certainly the creativity and the vision of Wintan. But they've got a lot of players in the squad who can fill into those big shoes of Wintan. And Dang May Grace and Manisha Kalyan will have to take some extra responsibilities. Uh, the youngster can pull out trick after trick from her bag. But she needs to learn to carry responsibilities on her shoulders. 
which can only drop but drop to beat defenders. Metaphorically, Gokulam Kela must stand strong. Well, down there, one can smell the charge as these two teams rubbing shoulders together like burnt insulation. What waiting to be sparked into life? And Gokulam Kela and Setu Madurai have been their relentless self uh, towards their march for the title. And Gokulam Kela have got the luxury of going three at the back and four, depending on what mercurial Manisha offers down the left. It is a battle of attrition, a clash of cans. When two equally ranked teams that take on each other, a spark's gonna fly, made of hopes and expectation. This is Anju Tamang, the senior in the international. You know, that was a tame left footer, and not troubling Adi Chauhan. A beautifully chested down by Elizabeth and then the layoff cuts in onto her left foot and then dispatching it. Somia, now the ball just escaping El Chadai. A wayward clearance brought down by Somia. Having plenty of the ball, Gokulam Kela, but seems like they have taken their foot off the pedal. And no such clear-cut scoring opportunities uh, since that penalty. Uh, they will rely highly on El Shaddai. Cross towards the back post. Uh, cleared away before it could get to Manisha Kalyan by Anju Tamang. Man, the match going on under the floodlight here at the Kalinga Stadium, but there is certainly no lights into the hearts of the Seto Madurai play, uh, fans uh, because their team is trailing. The team is locked at one all. It's as good as a trailing by a goal because they need a win. A draw won't help. First half an hour, hardly any time to breathe. A slight knock at El Chadai's back. A very rare mispass. I cannot afford to do that, especially against a team like Gokulam Kerala, who can be so, so dangerous on the break. Trying to impose their attacking authority. And Seto Madurai on the flip side struggling to reinforce their supremacy. And now comes to Sandhya. Clever touch. And the move is spoiled by Kashmina. And they've been tasked with uh, tracking back and support of the defense. Uh, you can see the Gokulam Kela back foot dropping off very quickly. And Manisha Kalyan and uh, Somia are trying to stay closer uh, to their full backs. And that is how things uh, should be, especially when you are up against a player like Sandhya, who is of supreme quality. And then the first hydration break in the snell biting of an encounter. And it is locked at one all. 
said to Madurai taking an early lead. But that lead is being cancelled out by Ashalat Devi from the spot kick. And hydration break. It's been a game of high intensity, high tempo. And a cooling break at this point of a time was of utmost importance. You know, Crispin Chetri just asking his team to uh, calm down, keep a cool head, uh, try and work according to the game plan. And Anthony Andrews knows uh, the score line so far in his favor. Uh, but he is a kind of coach who will look at it very much from the point of view of full three points. While having a chat with Anthony Andrews, he mentioned that he wants to make a wall win record in the Hero Indian Women's League. And Gokulam Kela, they are unbeaten in 20 games so far. And that, if you take into account, those 10 matches that they have played during the scoreline Kerala Women's League. They've won all 10 of them. 20 straight wins in domestic football. The last time they lost a game was in the AFC Cup uh, to a strong Iraqi side. But that story, that tale is in the past now. And El Shaddai helps it on towards Manisha Kalyan. And Manisha Kalyan looking to set off, last ditch defending, but she comes away with the ball. Manisha Kalyan once again buys half a yard, in comes the cross, flashing it across the face of goal, and El Shaddai has done the job here. It is the Ghanian to the rescue once again. Right place at the right time. This is the kind of threat the number 15 possesses, and goal number 20 for El Shaddai. 2-1 Gokulam Kela. And look at that confusion inside the six-yard box. As Pavitra doesn't deal with it. And El Shaddai was lurking around and finishing it like a splitting cobra. She doesn't need a second invitation. You offer her an inch, she will take a mile. It is 2-1. And midway through the first half. And all those excitement and all those energy that seemed to be enveloped in gloom is now bursting. And such has been the spontaneous outburst of overflowing emotions uh, that even the whistle of the referee cannot be heard. Gokulam Kela playing this uh, like uh, their last game of the life. Each and every player fighting for the ball, going forward in collective numbers, tracking back in collective numbers, working as a well-oiled well machine. And Setu Madurai, after a positive start, looking dejected and distraught. And such has been the nature of the hero Indian Women's League. It's never easy. It's never over till it's over. You've got to wait till the last minute. Will there be a final twist before the red carpet? Now are we in for a grandstand finish uh, to the first 45 minutes? Uh, we have witnessed three goals. Both the teams with two contrasting styles, but with similar ambition in the field of play. And the temperature in Bhuneshwa has gone down by a few notches in recent weeks, but amidst the heat, both the teams looking to take this game by storm here. One of the
of the most successful club in recent times, Gokulam Kerala. Winners of the Hero I League twice, winners of the Tournament Cup back in 2019. And they are on the cusp of winning the Hero Indian Women's League for the second time. But spoke too soon, still a lot of time remaining. Another arduous 45 minutes lying ahead of us. As Seto Madurai had to go through a lot of complexities in setting their squad up for this particular tournament. As a weak header towards the edge of the area, Anju Tamang is there to collect. And Anju Tamang rolls it down the line but only helps Ashalata Devi instead. Ranjana Charu, Dangmai Grace, Kashmina. A close on her is Ratan Bala Devi. Patient and probing Gokulam Kela. And looking for that one crisp move forward that will spark them back into life. It has sparked them back into life. Ratan Bala, wrong footing Kartika. A challenge from Anjutamang was good enough. Renu from the right. It's a great ball in behind a stray header from Ritu Rani. And almost clatters with Aditi Chauhan. But she grabs hold of the ball. The senior India international has the experience of playing in Europe for West Ham, if I'm not mistaken. A neat judgment from Dalima Chibar as well. All those overlapping runs from Dalima is missing. A much more active uh, defending. That must be the instruction from Anthony Andrews that uh, when you are specially up against someone like Sandhya, you cannot afford to be out of position. You've got to be cautious, which is why certain calculation, certain restriction to Dalima's movement. Is looking quite quite serious and worrying signs on the Setu Madurai bench. Crispin Chetri will be hoping she is all right. Uh, she is one of uh, primary weapons of Crispin Chetri uh, for tonight. Not done yet, Kokulam Kela. Here comes the ball again. Guide on towards Manisha Kalyanis. Goal number 14 for the youngster. And El Shaddai with the assist. 3 1, Gokulam Kela. Uh, the game is slightly uh, slipping away from Setu Madurai's uh, grip. And now it's the team in maroon all over the team in blue. Somia's cross. Guide on from El Shaddai. And Manisha Kalyan says, thank you very much. I was waiting for it all day long. And that must be the easiest of the goals scored by Manisha Kalyan in her career. And both the tops, uh, both the scorers for Gokulam Kerala, one on 20 goals, the other one on 14. Responding on this mammoth occasion. Now both of them have co scored combined 34 goals. And Gokulam Kela have scored 66 so far. And the tournament's two, uh, 300 goal as well. And that comes from uh, the post girl of Indian football, Manisha Kalyan.
This is Elizabeth. She's got options to her left and right. Anju Tamang also racing forward from the near side. And getting involved in a tussle. And there you go. Now Anthony Andrews will ask his team uh, to calm down and slow down the tempo. Uh, so, so expert in game management, AIFC's youngest coach, uh, previously with Minerva Punjab, also worked for RIFC. A lot of experience in women's football. Uh, that was a neat header uh, from Dang May Grace. And the rub of the green going Gokulam Keller's way. And Dalima Chiba once again with a pinpoint cross. And not the first time you'll see it, not the last time you've, see, you've seen it. And she's done that over time and again in this competition. Uh, with most number of crossing accuracy. Forty-nine fifty-one in ball possession. In terms of keeping a hold of the ball, it's been evenly poised. In terms of creating and scoring chances, Gokulam Kela, they are a class apart. Yes, Setu Madurai simply no match uh, to the Malabarians. Uh, but still, the Tamil Nadu base side are trying the level best with the weapons available in the armory. I'll tell you what, as the game progresses, you'll see that score line extend in Gokulam's favor. Because in the second half, I said to Madurai will go all out and that will leave a lot of spaces in defense, which the likes of El Chadai and Dangme Grace will uh, try and exploit. It can turn out to be a goal fest. And apart from the first 30 minutes, it's been Gokulam Kela all over the pitch for the last a quarter of the first half. Still a few seconds remaining uh, to the regulated 45. Additional minutes uh, remaining. And Gokulam Kela will go into the break uh, with the lead additional time of three minutes. And Crispin Chetri, he needs half time more than anyone else. And needs to go get back to the drawing board. Uh, revive his plan. And Anthony Andrews he knows it's all about seeing off the remaining 45 minutes. And apart from that early defensive error, Gokulam Kela absolutely spot on here. Uh, they looked slightly jittery 
in the opening 20 minutes in defense as, as i have mentioned when you've got experience and quality on the pitch it always tells in the end of the day and that is exactly what has happened del shadai with a sharp turn manisha kalyan getting involved making that run vertically setting up outside the edge of the area a keeper did get her hand onto it and touching it behind for a corner kick Manisha Kalyan cutting in vertically is setting up Shomia and it's a corner for Gokulam Here's Dali Machibar and Dali Machibar takes it might be a powerful header a completely miscued right back into the mix and this time a nicely collected by Somia she stood firm Ranjana Chanu with a high cross Gokulam Kela teasing and tormenting Setu Madurai A goal here for Setu Madurai before going into the break will certainly put the cat among the pigeons. And for that to happen, they got to put their shoulders to the wheel. But very a few time remaining, uh, less than uh, 30 seconds. And Gokulam Kela now organized at the back. there was slight weakness in gokulam kela's defense especially on the right hand side but that is resolved and so whistle for the half time uh, setu madurai despite taking an early lead and making a wonderful start to the game finds themselves trailing by 3-1 and it's el shadai putting them in front uh, followed by an insurance goal from manisha kalyan And all that momentum gained by Setu Madurai is quelled by El Shadai's second goal. And these are the first half stats then 50-50 in terms of ball possession. Not much difference between the two teams in terms of the shots. Two on target from Setu, four from Gokulam. And both the team is winning a corner kick each. These are the shots taken by Setu Madurai in the first half. Only four, Renu Rani and Anju Tamang with two apiece. Let's have a look at the shots taken by Gokulam at six. Ratan Bala with two, El Shadai with one, Nashalata with one, Somia with one and Manisha Kalyan with one as well. One chance slotted it into the back of the net both Ashalata and El Chadai and Manisha Kalyan as well that's the kind of perfection required up top in a final like this and Gokulam Kerala just living up to its billing and three fouls committed by Setu Madurai Kastana with two Elizabeth with one and now let's have a look at the fouls committed by Gokulam it's none it's been a pretty clean game from them in the first half. And so let's have a look at the highlights. The last and potential title decider between Setu Madurai and Gokulam Kela kicking off at the Kalinga Stadium. Uh, lots of uh, features been written about this game and this was the opening goal from Setu Madurai. Uh, Renu opening the scoring, uh, capitalizing on a defensive error. Watch out for that celebration. Dali Machiba's ball towards the far post. Ratan Bala's header not on target. Manisha Kalyan with the throw in. This is the incident. El Chadai was brought down by the trailing leg of Mitchell, resulting into a penalty converted by Ashalata Devi. Kokulam Kela back on level terms. 
and El Shaddai with a wonderful cross header from Dangmi Grace off target. And this was another chance for Renu from a very acute angle. And Anju Tamang's left footer was a tame one. And Manisha Kalyan, look at that, putting it on a platter and doesn't deal with it. Pavitra, the left full back of Setu Madurai. And she had to pay the price in a big way as the big man, El Shaddai, was breathing down her necks. And she makes it 2 1. And this was a stray head up of Dali Machiba with the covering. And Somia's cross. And third one, El Shaddai with the guide on, and Manisha Kalyan with the insurance goal. A goal early in the second half will certainly kill the game off. And this was another challenge. And so at half time, it's Setu Madurai 1, Gokulam Kela 3. Uh, do not go anywhere. We will join you shortly after this break. Shall we do a recap of the last challenge? I think we should. Because I think we need more of like the Indian speech recap. Yeah? No, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. Indian football quizzes a little bit every time we've had a challenge. Or I don't want to I'm lose. Just, <laughs> just come to fetch it. No, I want to win. So, so I will win today. <laughs> Oh God, <laughs> I am so bad at this. <laughs> I am not going to Okay. And basically, what do you have to do? I cannot even draw a bird. <laughs> you can draw anything, any kind of caricature, anything. No, I am saying I don't even know how to draw a bird. Forget drawing anything at all. You ready? Okay. Guess it. Guess it. Take a random guess. And show you that camera. Look at this. Similar, no, sir? This is a tree. 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 Okay, yeah, this one she gets. Oh! <laughs> so it's 1-1. One, one. This one you get. Yeah. It's 1-1. One, one. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My drawing is really bad. That's what I told you. I, ca I cannot even draw a bird, so... Should we give her 1.5? Yeah, for the that's flower. not fair. Yeah, we'll see it after my round is done. Okay? No, 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 it's not. No, that's only fair. fair. I cannot feel anything. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Can we have another round of the drawing again? <laughs> I didn't feel anything. Smaller drawings, yeah. Smaller? Huh. Okay. I drew a sun okay. and a smaller, tree. Smaller. Okay. Smaller. Is that what it is? Yeah, just one one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's one one. Okay. What? Yeah. What? You want to again, again? Again. Okay. That's all I could think. <laughs> it's a bird. I could just feel her go like... <laughs> okay, 
I think you might just bring the fun as well. Okay. I'll start. You ready? Okay. Uh, who is the all time highest goal scorer and number of goals? All time. Any women's football? Baladin. And number of goals? Any girl? 52. No. But you get half point. She gets half point. She said the name correct. Goals? Yeah. 63. No. It's less. 42. She's taken 3 now. 41. Uh, you get point 0.1. Point 0.5, sorry. <laughs> Name all the winners of the year of Hero IWS. Yes, you uh, <laughs> she just started saying the name. Yeah, name of the winners and the years of Hero IWS. I will go backwards. Last time was Gokula, then it was Setu, then it was uh, first edition was ESU, like you just said. <laughs> yeah, ESU again? ESU 1 2 edition? And then uh, this is the fifth edition, huh? This is so I got four correct. Say to Gokula, ESU, ESU. Who did ESU play at the final against? Rising students. Did Rising students play? I remember because the sun is sitting next to me. You played for Rising students that year. That's how I know because you traveled for your exam, you came back. When was the last time Gokula played against Setu and what was the score? 2019? No. You've taken three tries. Just guess the score. What was the score? Take a wild guess. 3 1. You close, but that's not the score line. Take one more. 2 1. Yeah, you lost this round. It was 2020 last IWL edition, Bangalore. Bangalore. 3 0 was the score. Gokulam 1 <coughs> against AP. 3 0. How many goals has Setu scored in this season? Oh, God. Okay. Oh God! I I know this. I know this. I checked the table yesterday. Not not fifty. Thirty-eight. Is it correct? No. <laughs> I said thirty. She was like, "Yeah." Is it correct? No. Oh God! I checked the table yesterday. Thirty. What what did I say before? <laughs> okay, thirty-eight. Or but it's more than thirty. But it's less than forty-five. 42? No, done. 41. How many goals has Gokulam scored? Now you tell me. Now you keep calculating. 68. No. 58. No. Close enough for you guys are saying Higher. no, no. <laughs> Higher. 65. No. It's lesser than that. So you lose this round as well with 63. Scored, scored 64. I, I said the 63. No, you said 60 first. You said 60, then you went to 58, then you said 65. You didn't come in the middle. Yeah. What we're doing this, terrible. Isn't it? What was the score line in 2018-19 Hero IWL? And 18 final when Setu won the IWL. Oh god. 1819? This was the time we played for Gokula, no? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we were out in the semi-final. That was the only time both of us played with the same team. <laughs> uh, Setu won against this one. The team we lost to. Which was the team we lost to in the semi final? The final score. 2 0? No. Am I closer? Yeah, I'm going to go to the next And welcome back to the live coverage of the Hero Indian Women's League. It is the potential title decider between Setu Madhuri and Gokulam Kaila. With Gokulam Kaila leading by three goals to one uh, going into the break. Uh, one, uh, Setu Madhuri took an early lead through Renu, which was cancelled out by Ashalata Devi via a spot kick. And then El Shaddai, uh, their talisman, uh, giving them uh, that lead, uh, followed by an insurance goal from Manisha Kalyan, just securing. Gokulam Kerala's insurance goal and putting them on driver's seat. A lot of words may have been exchanged during the halftime in both the dressing rooms and Crispin Chetri will have been very vocal in terms of how he wants his team to play. Impressive with his tactics in the previous 10 games and 
she has made it no secret that this is a representation of what this country can produce in this sport as the team develops under him. So no changes at half time. In case you are wondering, proper warm up for the subs given the conditions the coaches will want to uh, dip in onto that team sheet and onto that bench and find some kind of refreshing up in terms of tactics and in terms of approach. Now we are all set for the second half. It's going to be a, a defining a 45 minute. Lots of arguments going on in Twitter. Which team is the better? I see the Southern Derby. A team from Tamil Nadu up against a team from Kerala. Yes, Kerala football going through a purple patch. Winning each and every national title. They are on a dream run. Uh, Chennai City FC were the winners of the Hero I League back in 2018-19 season. Uh, from Tamil Nadu. Uh, Chennai NFC also won the Hero Indian Hero ISL for Tamil Nadu. Uh, both the southern sides uh, doing remarkably well in the top flight of Indian football. Uh, they have always produced some stalwarts. And Kanika Burman is ready to blow the whistle for the second half. She checks her watch, looking for the final confirmation from the match commissioner, uh, Sudhir Menon. And well on the way to Kalinga in the early evening, it, must, it was almost all as if the clouds came out in search of the front seats for this big, big game. And you have to appreciate the culture and tradition. And this game is as regular as the tides in Odisha. And we are underway with the second half under the lights here at the Kalinga Stadium. Uh, with the presence of the fans and an athletic turf in the middle it makes this venue so so intimate it is also one of the uh, primary venues for the fifa under 17 women's world cup which is going to be held in india later this year and also will be hosting the saf under 20 championship in the month of july It's a wayward clearance. Renu is setting it up. And no conviction in the shot. And that won't bother Adi Chauhan. An attempt from at the number 11, Grace. Marshall at Devi. And Gokulam got to be very careful. Uh, to the ways they approach uh, the first 15 minutes of the second half that is going to be very very crucial and Manisha Kalyan really making life difficult for Arifa and Anju Tamang mostly involved in terms of defensive works uh, Seto Madurai as a team completely pegged back Throw in for Setu. Anjutamang hustled off the ball. Uh, but uh, Grace was close 
had to cover up her mistake. And now Dali Machiba, she's got to deal with the pace of Sandhya. Uh, she was awarded the best player of the Hero Indian Women's League a couple of seasons ago. And she can produce and score both. We saw a glimpse of her against Hans. In their last game, it was a 5-0 victory for Seto Madhuri. And Anju Tamang from distance. And lots of tra human traffic in front of her. Two glaring mistakes from Seto Madhuri. Punished in both the occasions and Gokulam Kela have hardly been wasteful in front of goal tonight. And that is the experience, that is the quality of this team. They know how to play a final. And moving the ball into the opposition's box with minimal touches. But the effect is maximum. Kashmina with a clever turn. His grace. And Setu Madurai uh, trying to make something happen. But uh, the number 12 Kartiga seems like she's gotten off the wrong side of the bed. And just marshalling the defense from behind. Aditi Chauhan. Since 1991, the top women's football tournament in India has been the Indian Women's Football Championship, uh, which served as a female equivalent of Santosh Trophy, uh, with states competing against each other. There had not been an organized national football league for women's. Uh, however, the first women's state football league was set up in 1976 in Manipur. The Indian Football Association of West Bengal founded Calcutta Women's League in 1993, the league also started in Mumbai and Goa back in 1998 and 99, respectively. But in 2014, after the success of the Indian women's team, mainly in the SAF Women's Championship, a push to start a women's football league along the lines of recently started and successful Indian Super League happened. And the first edition was held back in 2016 at Katak. Uh, 2017... Uh, Shillong was the venue, the Nehru Stadium. Uh, rising students were the champions after beating Eastern Sporting Union in the final. And all the matches uh, so far were played at the Guru Nanak Stadium in Ludhiana, the 2018 edition where the team is divided into two groups and played against each other once. And the top two teams uh, competed in the semi-final. We'll come back to that. Outside of the boot attempt from Renu. A very, very cheap giveaway from Ritu Rani. Not, ha not having the greatest of the nights, the number 16. All her mistakes very tactfully uh, covered by Ashalata Devi tonight. And you can see putting it out of play, Ritu Rani, not at her usual self. And looking slightly nervous. Maybe nervous of playing of the final. Deceived by the bounce. This has opened up for Elizabeth. But wonderful challenge once again from Ashalata Devi. Keeping the number 27 at bay. And that is how, once again, Ritu Rani's mistake covered up by Ashanata Devi. And just seconds before I was talking about it. Look at that. Uh, closing down the angle at the right time.
We're now looking to pile on the pressure. Setu Madurai. The last edition before the pandemic of the Hero Indian Women's League was held in Bengaluru, where we had the Hero Ailey qualifiers last season. A slight deflection. This might be risky for Aditi Chauhan, but the luck of the day is lying with Gokulam Kerala. A slight deflection of Kashmina. And Gokulam Kela were crowned the champions after beating Kripsa by 3 2 in the final. And the Eastern Sporting Union, the side from Manipur, were the champions of the inaugural edition of the Hero Indian Women's League. Under the guidance of Bem Bem Devi. Bala Devi, as I mentioned, is the all time top goal scorer with 38 goals. And Nepal's Sabitra Bhandari, she is the second highest goal scorer with 31. And Ratan Bala with 25. And Sandhya it was very, very entertaining last term. Kamala Devi scored 22 goals, Dangme Grace 15. Daniel Chadai netting in 20. Uh, just in 11 matches. With still about half an hour remaining in this game. More than half an hour, rather. About 36 minutes. And the game is completely in Gokulam Kaila's control now. Setu Madurai getting under the pressure as the minutes tick by. And Zatan Bala just too strong for the challenge from Elizabeth. Ashanatha Devi with the header. She is having a terrific game tonight. And she is certainly a big match player. Covering up Ritu Rani on her mistakes. And Dali Machuber also not joining the overlap. As you can see, Gokulam Kel always having numbers back behind the ball. And now Manisha Kalyan and looking to take on Arifa. Running out of space, compelled to play towards Ranjana Chanu with an early ball in into no man's land. Nashalata and upon her was Anjutamang. The government of Odisha they really gained widespread reputation for the successful execution of the 90 days challenge for hosting the 2017 Asian Athletics Championship when the former venue Ranchi backed off from hosting the event three months prior. Now this is looking good. That's more like it for Setu Madurai. Ambitious attempt from Renu. Uh, there was absolutely no one in blue waiting inside the box. And she had no other options than to pull the trigger. A Gokulam player is down. A referee seeks for medical intervention. Uh, goodness me, a stretcher is out as well. Uh, looks like it's Dalima Chiba. Uh, she has had a commendable season. 
you know, both defensively as well as attackingly. Anthony Andrews having a word with Karishma Shirvoika, the youngster, one of his weapons of mass destruction, and always a very, a very handy player to have as an option on the bench. Here comes uh, Setu Madurai. And the pullback is straight into the feet of Ratan Bala. And she was perfectly placed. And on rushing. Uh, number 11 was stopped on her tracks. Grace. It looks like she's got the freedom. To glow slightly uh, forward. Uh, from her deep position. Gokulam Kela coming into this on the back of a 7-1 victory against Odisha Sports. The biggest margin win in this edition of the Hero in Women's League was the opening game against Odisha Police. And that was a 12-0 victory. And Setu Madurai, they started off the campaign with a 6-1 win against Mata Rukmani. Now there's the ball in. Uh, cleared away with absolute ease. Easy pickings for the Gokulam Kela defense. Uh, trying to exert a lot of pressure. As we touch the hour mark here, the Kalinga Stadium. It's still 3 1 in Gokulam's favor. And a change. Now this is the move I was talking about. Karishma Shirvoika will be coming on, replacing Somia, the number 19. was the hero of the match against Sirvodim and just uh, the game before uh, taking on Odisha Sports Work in progress for Setu. It's not done yet. The lack of adequate publicity of the Indian Women's League has not deter deterred the competitiveness of the teams and the quality of football that the women have put, out, put on show in Bhuvaneshwar. And apart from Gokulam Kerala, who have been topping the league table, by the virtue of goal difference. And Manisha Kalyan win it in a great area. El Shaddai, she is one on one. Can she get the shot away? And defenders quickly converging on the Ghanaian. And she loses her balance. And close shaves for Setu Madurai. And that would have been a nail in the coffin. And that would have been the game set match for Gokulam. Now Manisha Kalyan once again with a defense splitting pass. And back to back Tamil and Nadu state team champions are playing a major part in the development of women's football and they have the belief to breach the unbreachable. 
Uh, since a lot of players from Tamil Nadu, the communication on and off the field has been great. And even the players from other parts of India and those from outside have been committed to the team and worked hard on gelling with the teammates. And Sandhya added on the secret of Setu's run this season. Uh, Renu Rani, she is the top scorer. And she scored today as well. Before the game, she spoke about the not thinking too much about the goal difference, but they go into every game wanting full three points. The Inter India International, Renu Rani summoned, uh, being a part of the national camp has helped her performance and the hard work and training in terms of strength, building techniques, etc. is helping her give her best for Setu. And also the exposure trips have certainly helped. Uh, Setu's 37 goals in their 10 match winning streak uh, may look a shade a pell compared to the rivals Gokulam's uh, 66 uh, what's the 2018-19 champions have the capacity to score plenty with their arsenal of attacking players but with just a few minutes remaining how much of that is possible is the question uh, we are already midway through the second half And the remote is in Gokulam Kerala's hand. And Setu Madurai dancing to the tunes of Gokulam Kerala. Manisha Kali on the left foot are cutting in from the right side. Completely outfoxing and teasing Pavitra. Yeah, attracting a lot of interest uh, from other Asian countries. Manisha Kalyan. This is the Gokul of Kerala bench looking much more relaxed. A smile on Jyoti's face. And they know things are working according to their plan. Manisha Kalyan, cute little pull back towards the edge of the area. El Shaddai leaves it for Manisha Kalyan. Manisha Kalyan steps inside, but the shot is wide. This is truly sensational from Gokulam. Human poetry. The flat four and the back, second back four is completely resolved. And there's Gokulam Kerala's system with the usage of four players row. The development of complex soccer formations and systems play was also incorporated into this uh, designation. The logical division into defense, midfield and offense was lost in the process. Uh, but with uh, the 4-4-2, this differentiation is still far more apparent to the layman and 4-2-3-1 is thus a 4-5-1 and this point to a strongly positioned midfield now the trisection of the system may sound easier but often leads to misunderstandings and the 4-2-3-1 explains the tactical concept uh, far more clearly and furthermore there are additional a 4-5-1 system like for example the 4-1-4-1 all those intrications and all those expertise uh, provided by the coaches and coaches education have been made compulsory uh, we recently had the AFC Pro license held in Chandigarh uh, Renadi Singh, Ishfaq Ahmed, uh, Mehrajuddin Wadu 
a part of those courses. Uh, Vinay Singh was with East Bengal as an assistant to coach uh, last season. Then as Merajuddin Wadu uh, was in charge of Sudeva Delhi in the Hero I League. And Gokulam Kailas El Shadai as she is booked. A taken shot. Uh, trying uh, lots of methods and lots of uh, dexterous tricks uh, to beat this Kokulam Kela defense who is standing tall like a tower uh, with Ashalata Devi leading by example among them. This is Manisha Kalyan with a clean set of heels. El Shadai from a very difficult angle opened up a body towards the right corner of the penalty area. Now the ball was eventually arriving towards Karishma. And it has eventually crossed the line. Now this is looking good. Gokulam Kailaj once again. This time keeping their foot in the pedal. And they know they know they need a goal here to kill this game off. Flag stays down. Karishma Shirvoika. Uh, deflection of a blue shirt. And third corner of the game for Gokulam Kela. And the left full back Ranjana Chanu. This time taken shot. Ranjana onto her weak side. It's a low cross, might be difficult for the defenders. And there's the free header from Dali Machiba. Uh, could have done much, much better. Allowed time on the ball and uh, going for it first time. Uh, sees it saved by the goalkeeper. And now Arifa, the right full back. The card is out. Uh, studs uh, were visible. And that was a reckless challenge on Karishma Shirvoika. A sign of frustration uh, from Setu Madhuri. And Dali Machiba, she excels uh, with set pieces. A bit of a tricky angle, but conducive for a right footer in case uh, she can apply the right technique. It is possible uh, to get their goal number four, uh, putting her laces uh, through it, uh, using her outstep, uh, not getting the right curl she was looking for. And that's the confirmation of the yellow uh, to Lalrampari, uh, known as Grace of Seto Madurai, it's Manisha Kalyan. The silky skills from the number 12. Manisha Kalyan afforded time and space on the ball. El Shaddai with the attempt. It took a couple of deflections in the way. Another corner now for Gokulam. And they want to finish this game on a high. Kashmina on to Karishma Shirvoika. Incredible distance on the cross. It was sent in with too much pace. And difficult to control for Dali Machiba. And the mighty sides have rubbed shoulders with each other throughout the season 
and a level in terms of points for the defending champions Gokulam. Everyone mentioned have the slight edge. Uh, Crispin Chetri has shed light on the season so far and their approach for the ultimate clash. We'll come back to that. El Shaddai, Manisha Kalyan with a lot of power uh, behind that shot but couldn't direct it goalwards. Crispin mentioned that the Gokulam Kerala, the experienced side, but they have the experience. The players in their team, they also have the advantage of youth players who will be eager to go into this kind of a match. It's an opportunity for them to show the potential and character. The game is all about the players. They need to have the belief that they are the best. If they do that, they can bring home the trophy. He sounded candid. Uh, Karishma Shirvoika. Uh, that was a bright thought from Anisha Kalyan, but uh, the offside flag going up against Karishma Shirvoika. Uh, Sandhya Rasetu Madurai skipper also joined to express her views, and previously they have focused the face tough opponents in kickstart arrows and SSB and went into those games fully prepared and came. Uh, back with points and the forward has been solid at the front uh, for the Tamil Nadu base side and will be looking to inspire uh, her side to victory on the final day it has been a long journey but time is ticking away we are into the last quarter and whistle for the second hydration break of this game Uh, Setu are a side that has a number of local players from Tamil Nadu and their policy of promoting the players from the state has done wonders to take women's football forward together. Well, let's have a look at the goals. Uh, beginning with the first one, uh, Renu's header. Uh, capitalizing on a defensive error. Out jumping Ashalata Devi. Uh, putting it through the legs of Aditi Chauhan. Uh, this is how Setu Madurai took the lead. And El Shaddai was stripped and Ashalata Devi capitalizing on the spot kick, bringing her side back into the game. Manisha Kalyan, dazzling and daunting down the left, setting it up for El Shaddai. A miscued clearance from Pavitra. And that CR7 style celebration from the Ghanaian star. She played for Black Stars. This was Somia's cross, which resulted into the third goal for Gokulam. El Chadai just guiding it on towards Manisha Kalyan, towards the back post. Just had to tap it in. And she never going to miss those from that sort of range. And surging with confidence. And certainly some tiring legs around. It's quite humid. Ranjana Chanu, a sliding challenge coming in. In step, Sashalata Devi, sending it on the rise was Kashmina. A nice clean catch for the goalkeeper, Somia. She is bitten thrice uh, tonight. Uh, Seto Madurai promoting a lot of local players over the years. And now they can see the results, and they have so many talented. Young girls from Tamil Nadu who have proved their worth for both clubs and state and have gone on to play for the national team as well. And Anthony Andrews also opened up about his side's preparation for the game. It's an amazing feeling, he mentioned. And the players are pumped up and everybody is looking forward to the game. Oh, and eventually that back pass falling short of Ashalata Devi. Advancing into the opposition's area, Elizabeth. Cleaning up the danger, Kashmina. With her industrious work in the heart of midfield for Gokulam tonight. And she is closely partnered by Ratanbala. And 
Kiran Bo. And Karish Mashir Vaika coming on for Somia is the only change made by Anthony Andrews. He deciding to go with a tried and tested lineup for this mouth watering clash. The ball is eventually over Dali Machiba and now she is out of position. Anju Tamang galloping in dangerously. Uh, beautifully cut out by Ritu Rani this time. Got to stop it from going out. Managing to do so. Setu Madurai. Sandhya with the cross. Elizabeth Seda. It was in fact a shader uh, from the number 27. Goal kick for Gokula Madhiti Chauhan. Play restarts. Ashalata Devi receiving the first pass inside the 18-yard box. Uh, meanwhile, Elizabeth of Setu Madurai. She is lying down injured. And Setu Madurai wants their number 27 to be fit, safe and sound uh, for the remaining 11 minutes if they are to make something of this game. Uh, they are trailing by two goals. But stranger things have happened in this sport in the past. A comeback from here on is very much possible. Uh, Setu Madurai getting a change ready. This is the number 17, Durga, who will be coming on. And off goes Kartiga, the number 12. And Elizabeth is still limping, receiving treatment on the touchline. Meanwhile, we do hope she is absolutely fine. Kaushalya smartly playing it between the lines. Setu Madurai just inviting Gokulam Kel upon them uh, to exploit the gap behind the defense line. Uh, but Ashalata Devi is very much present to arrest the situation. And now Arifa, under a bit of a pressure, was Kaushalya, but Anju Tamang bailing her out. A regulation time of nine minutes remaining. Each and every second is important for Seto Madurai. Gokulam Kela, they will just look to keep possession of the ball and knock it around from right to left, play short passes, trying to frustrate Seto Madurai by keeping prolonged possession. And that shape in midfield is beautifully marshaled. There is a certain discipline involved. And Seto Madurai, they eventually have to keep coming back every time they plan to make an inroad near the final third. It's been a remarkable season for Gokulam Kerala. In the Indian domestic football, they are literally unstoppable. Dali Machibar with a reverse pass. El Shadai looks up once and delivers. Far too behind Manisha Kalyan. Anju Tamang retrieves it and looking to trigger a quick counter. Ratan Bala making sure that is not possible as she breaks the move down before it could even develop. Slightly cramped up Manisha Kalyan. 
Lady Johan, and she's been very vocal. And the Gokulam Kaila skipper. And she's been a wall in gold throughout the season and also expressed her thoughts. And she's glad that the title is decided on the final day of the league, which is very exciting, and the players looking forward to it. And they are just a few minutes away from defending the Hero Indian Women's League. And Setu have got a good mix of local players as well. As a national team players, it's going to be a tough job. But they gave the 100% in the field of play tonight. And Devneta Roy, the number 22, comes on for Setu Madurai and she scored a wonderful brace. Uh, the player who comes from West Bengal. Uh, stealing the limelight in the previous game against Setu Mad against Hunts Women Football Club. Uh, the Delhi League champions. Uh, she was preferred over Elizabeth. And justifying her inclusion in the starting 11 by scoring two very quick goals. This is Chibar. Not taking any risks whatsoever. Sandhya with the throw in. Uh, the space was too tight near the byline. An excellent composure shown there by Ashalata Devi. She scored two goals, both of them from spot kick. In crucial moments. And now into the path of Dangmei Grace. Karishma Shirvaika is racing from the near side. Manisha Kalyan asking for it. Goes behind Ratan Bala. Kashmina is unmarked. Ranjana Chanu on the overlap. Manisha Kalyan ahead of her. Excellent one two. She might go all the way here. A very clever a low cross from the number 12. A pulling off a stunning save from Somia. Thinking with a lot of cunning here. And the ball was eventually bouncing in. And Somia doing remarkably well to get down on time. And save the blushes for her team. Ranjana Chanu's corner. Into the roof of the net. You can see both her thighs heavily strapped. I might be getting off the treatment table to get involved in this game and why not? Now this is the ultimate fixture in the Hero Indian Women's League. And every Indian women's football players playing in the domestic league will dream uh, to play a game of this stature. And they've done it with a 3-2 scoreline, Gokulam Kela, back in 2020. It's 3-1 this time. It seems like they've got a certain monopoly. They're scoring three goals in the cup final. Setu Madurai's title hopes are washed away. A soft foul and a free kick conceded by Gokulam Kela, and that was the incident. Ranjana Chanu with a challenge from behind on Renu. In the second half, Setu Madurai the VAD 54% ball possession. Gokulam Kela just allowing them to keep the ball in their zone. And until and unless someone from midfield start breaking those lines. And El Shaddai with the defensive work finally cleared by Dali Machiba.
Now Sandhya. Now Sandhya keeps going. Shirt pulled from behind. There's the pull back on point. Slight deflection. And inches away from Renu. And so, so lucky Gokulam Kela. The second goal was knocking on the door for Setu Madurai. And the closest they have gotten in the second half. And somehow that hasn't been a goal. El Shadai with a long stride, 50 50 situation. A keeper bailing her defense out from the sticky situation. And Somia this time with her heroics. Rotan Bala, uh, Dang May Grace, just scanning the environment in the middle of the park, picking out the right passes, the right players at the right time. And she's got wonderful stamina and her willingness to run directly at a defense. You'll see her operate down the middle and also drift onto the flanks. A very, very versatile attacker can play anywhere across that front four. A very handy player to have in the team as well. Uh, committing herself early, Ashalata Devi this time. But she's got a couple of maroon shirts behind her for protection. Anthony Andrews. He is on the cusp of a famous win. All those hard works, all his plans... I have beard fruits in the Hero Indian Women's League. Uh, their mission is quite successful. They just got to hold on for the next 180 seconds. The countdown begins in the Gokulam Kela camp. But can Renu put a dampener to that moment? Oh, what a save from the Chauhan from a close range. Hands on the heads for Renu. A very crucial save. And Devneta Roy denied from close range by Aditi Chauhan. Uh, Renu Rani, she has been the most threatening player from Setu Madurai's point of view in this game. She has been their bright spot. Uh, winning a title from here on looks impossible for Setu Madurai. They need three goals. They can't even do it with a draw. This is Dang Mei Grace. She is one of the favorites uh, for the Hero of the Match Award uh, tonight uh, for her wonderful display. She's got excellent vision and excellent creativity. Uh, one of those things which makes her stand out in the field of play is her space manipulation. That is so, so crucial in an evenly contested game like this. Now Reni Rani asking questions of the Gokulam Kela defense and those are indeed very difficult ones. Just not finding the cutting edge in front of goal. Sonali uh, will be coming on and El Shadai uh, will be making way for her. Uh, the left full back comes on. A defensive move uh, from Anthony Andrews. A very smart one as well. Also buying a few important seconds in the bargain. A regulation time off. Last 20 seconds remaining. Uh, the 
countdown down begins and the Gokulam Kerala technical area. And Dali Machuba, this is going to be the last move of the game. The referee has already taken the whistle on her mouth. And Kanika Burman blows the full time whistle, and Gokulam Kerala are the champions of the Hero Indian Women's League's fifth edition. And Jyoti is even joining the party with a broken leg. A heartbreak for Setu Madurai. Uh, but Gokulam Kela players and the fans, their heart is filled with joy. It has been a wonderful campaign for them. Uh, one of the most successful clubs in Indian football in the recent time. Winners of the Durant Cup back in 2019. Successfully defending the Hero I League title. Back to back seasons. And the women's team replicating the success of the men's. The example set up by Vincenzo Anese, and it has been quite successfully followed by Anthony Andrews. Gokulam Kela clinching the Hero Indian Women's League title for the second time within a space of two years. Uh, there's going to be celebrations, there's going to be tears, there's going to be joy. It was hatching and proper execution of plans week after week, game after game. It is a title made of tactical brilliance and togetherness. Congratulations to Gokulam Kerala Football Club. And Praveen certainly will be a very happy man, as so as Anthony Andrews. Uh, clinching the maiden uh, Ramco Kerala Women's League title. And that success carried forward in the Hero Indian Women's League as well. Uh, the rest of the 11 teams in the Hero Indian Women's League just failed to match to them. And this is today's Hero of the Match, Tang Mei Grace. And she's awarded a check of 5,000 rupees powered by Hero Motor Corp Limited. is the club the flag a club just six years old with a whole lot of accolades already part of the Indian football history uh, they have become a chapter now in that long burgeoning list Each and every season they are creating history, Gokulam Kerala. Uh, they will be playing uh, the AFC uh, Women's Club Championship uh, the coming season. Uh, the only Indian club to achieve the feat uh, last year and will be doing so next year as well. Uh, pale faces, a colourful uh, jersey but no colours certainly into the face of the Setu Madurai players. They are dejected, they are distraught and disconsolate. And they went down fighting against Gokulam Kerala and had to be said that the better team have won uh, tonight. Uh, Crispin Chetri as well. And all those pale faces uh, sums it up from uh, Setu Madurai's perspective. But joy among the Gokulam Kerala players. And there's a jersey of Wintan was part of this Gokulam Kerala team. And before uh, joining Myanmar for national duties. But it has been a commendable performance from Setu Madurai as well. And never easy winning 10 out of 11 matches. They took it till the final day. And Anthony Andrews, as you can see. Another feather in his cap. 
He says, what if I? And Jesus, she just simply cannot believe it. Well, that is the reality of the night. And it says, the match stats then, uh, 54, 46. Uh, the match stats the, in terms of ball possession, Gokulam Kela and Setu Madurai, both of them with 12 shots each. Gokulam Kela man managing to keep six of them on target. And that has been the difference between the two teams tonight. Eleven shots taken by Setu Madurai in this game. Renurani with six, Sanju Tamang with two, Durga, Elizabeth and Devneta Roy with one shot each. Now let's have a look at the shots uh, taken uh, by Gokulam Kela in this game. Uh, Manisha Kalyan with four, El Chadai with two, Ratan Bala with two, Ashalata Devi Dalima Chiba Somia, and Karishma Shirvoika with a shot each. Four fouls committed by Setu Madurai. Kastana with two. She was also given a yellow card in the first half. And Elizabeth with one. Grace with one. And the other fouls committed by Gokulam Kela. And Dali Machibar, Ranjana Chanu, and El Chadai with one fouls each. So let's have a look at the highlights of this mega event. Uh, the last and final game of the Hero Indian Women's League kicked off at the Kalinga Stadium. Uh, it is match number 66 between Gokulam and Setu Madurai. Uh, this is the last time uh, Setu Madurai celebrated a goal in the game. Uh, Renu Rani heading her team in front. Uh, but that joy was short-lived. Dali Machibar sending in a floater, Ratan Bala's header went wide. This is how El Shadai was brought down by Mitchell. That was a genuine case of penalty. And Ashalata Devi responding to the task. Since then, Gokulam Kaila, they never looked back. Header went wide. Uh, Renu, uh, this was another chance for Setu Madurai late in the first half. Uh, the angle was difficult. Elizabeth on to Anju Tamang. Easy collection for Aditi Chauhan. This was uh, the cross uh, from Manisha Kalyan and converted by El Chadai. She is so, so good in pouncing onto the second balls. The Kokulam Kela men's team coach Anthony Andrews is among attendants. And this was Dali Machiba uh, covering Anjutamang. Uh, Samia's ball, a third one, a guide one from Elizabeth, uh, from El Chadai, pardon me, uh, towards Manisha Kalyan. A tiny little dink, a very cute ball, and a cute finish from the number 12. And the first half ended 3 1. The second half kicked off. Ritu Rani was having a jittery uh, night. A couple of wonderful chances for Tessetu Madurai as well in the second half. But this was Ashalata's uh, challenge. A cross was deflected in. And Elizabeth with the ball forward. Renu had no options, had to pull the trigger. And Manisha Kalyan uh, threading it through for El Chadai. Uh, just uh, went to ground too easily, trying to buy another penalty. Lots of uh, tackles flashing in. This was another setup for Manisha Kalyan. Too much power onto it. 
This was the low cross troubling the goalkeeper. Somehow managing to deal with it. Ranjana Chanu bringing down. This is how Sandhya with a pullback. And just whiskers away from Renu Rani's forehead. And Devneta Roy's attempt was saved by Aditi Chauhan. Those two chances are wasted by Setu. And this is the hero of the match, Dangmei Grace. And Gokulam Kerala bagging full three points and the title as well. This is the full time scoreline is Setu Madurai Football Club 1 and Gokulam Kerala 3. I was reading the newspaper earlier in the day, a lot of features being written about Gokulam Kerala and the remarkable achievement and how the foreigners came here, made the Indians part of the culture, the Indians also approving them. They worked as a unit, trained together. And Anthony Andrews at the helm, quite successfully completing the marriage. It's Kokulam Kela supremacy on Indian football at present. A long chapter, a nearly a book could be written about their success, about their grassroots level program, about their structure, and how they scout players, how they build up teams. We saw Kerala Blasters this season, uh, losing out on the final uh, to Hyderabad. And Kerala also uh, winning uh, the Santosh Trophy by defeating Bengal in tiebreaker. A new dawn then into the sky of Kerala football. And this dominance seems like will go on for the next few years as well. Uh, just like we had Goa dominating Indian football at one point of time with Dempo Sports Club. And all those team photographs. There's going to be a long celebration back in the team hotel. And that is quite guaranteed. And the stage is getting ready for the prize ceremony. This is the Kokulam Kerala. A photograph with the supporting staffs. There's Anthony Andrews. There's Kevin. Wonderful scenes. And they are just one family, uh, Gokulam Kerala. United by football. So this is the front three, El Chadai, stealing all the limelight, taking photographs and selfies. A remarkable achievement in her career as well, tasting incredible success in Gokulam Kerala colours in a short span of time. In India, I finished as the top goal scorer in the score line Kerala Women's League and also bagging the Golden Boot Award in the Hero Indian Women's League with 20 goals, including four devastating hat-tricks. They are invincible, Gokulam Kerala.
It has been a wonderful closing ceremony, a wonderful closing game. Gokulam Kerala winning the Southern Derby and the title as well. And the celebration is going to continue uh, for the next couple of days before they prepare for the upcoming season. A massive impetus from the Federation in terms of women's football in the upcoming season uh, with the FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup being the primary event in the month of October. This is Ritu Rani and a Kashmina, a Samiksha rather. Sonali, as she has been utilized brilliantly by Anthony Andrews, who used to be a regular starter for the team uh, during the Kerala Women's League, but uh, lost her place to Ranjana Chanu uh, during the Hero Indian Women's League. Uh, but she still got the minutes. Uh, sometimes she was preferred over Ranjana Chanu. And what has been heartening to see the way Anthony Andrews handled uh, this team uh, together. He's got excellent uh, pedigree. Uh, uh, has the potential to go a long way in the future. All the qualities in him uh, that a uh, big manager uh, must possess. Setu Madurai, a bench in complete silence, a pin drop silence. A wonderful ending to the Hero Indian Women's League. Uh, the Odisha government, along with the Odisha Football Association, deserves a lot of credit for successfully organizing the tournament. A couple of teams from the state also participated. Odisha Sports and Odisha Police. And rising students who were the champions of the previous edition. And back in 2017, they were the runners-up of 2016. As uh, this particular sport of football develops and grows in this part of the country. After the successful ending of the fifth edition of the Hero Indian Women's League, the coming season, we will be hoping for upgradation in certain areas. We will be hoping more teams participate into it. So the teams are waiting in queue for the presentation, the ceremony. 
which is about to begin. And now let's get back to the presentation ceremony. Now thanks for joining us. Now stay tuned as Gokulam Kela will be presented uh, the wonderful trophy of the Hero Indian Women's League. What a fantastic way to finish an incredible season of football. Yes, indeed. The last match lived up to the hype and the expectations. And I'm sure none of us watching this match either out here or on our televisions back home, were uh, disappointed with the fare that we had on th this day. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now moving on to the post-match presentation ceremony of uh, the Hero Indian Women's League 2021-22 season. We would like to, first of all, welcome and invite our esteemed uh, dignitaries on the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, as they walk along, please put your hands together. First, it's uh, Sri Tushar Kanti Bera, the Honorable Minister, Sports and Youth Services, Government of Odisha. Coming along, what uh, Mr. Sunan Nadar, the CEO, Lakes Development, All India Football Federation. Mr. Bhaskar Ganguly, ex-India captain and member of the Committee of Administrators. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Mr. Asirbad Behera, Honorary Secretary, Football Association of Odisha. Next on the stage, Mr. Vinil Krishna, Commissioner, Cam Secretary, Sports and Youth Services Department, Government of Odisha. And next is Mr. Abhishek Yadav, the Deputy General Secretary of the All India Football Federation. With gratitude, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we would like to start the ceremony by thanking all our commercial and local partners who have helped us in making this event a grand success. The title partner, Hero Motor Cup. Official ball partner, Nivia. The sports department, Government of Odisha. The Football Association of Odisha. Keith and uh, Kims. And now, before we start with the individual team awards, we would like to take this opportunity to present tokens of appreciation on behalf of the All India Football Federation to our local partners, without whom this tournament would not have been possible. First of all, I'd like to request Mr. Sunanda Dar to present a memento to Mr. Asirbad Behra from uh, the Football Association of Odisha. Now I'd like to request Mr. Abhishek Yadav to present a memento to the Honorable Minister Sri Tushar Kanti Behera for the continued support provided by the Government of Odisha for the development of football in our country.
Now it's time to honor the players who have been outstanding this season of the Hind Hero Indian Women's League. These individual awards, ladies and gentlemen, have been decided based on votes received from all the 12 coaches and captains in the Hero Indian Women's League this season. I would like to request Mr. Vinil Krishna to present the coveted trophy and a check of rupees 75,000 for the emerging player of the league this season. It is Naram Priyanka Devi from the Indian Arrows. Please come along, Priyanka. Next, we would like to request Mr. Baskar Ganguly to present the coveted trophy and check of rupees one lakh for the best goalkeeper of the league uh, this season. And the best goalkeeper award goes to... It is... Mayban Langtang Nambe Devi! Moving on, we'd like to request Mr. Asir Bad Behra to present the coveted trophy and a check of rupees one lakh for the best defender of the league. And the best defender of the league is... I can't hear you. Yes, indeed, it is Lightning Bam Ashalata Devi. And now I would like to request Mr. Abhishek Yadav to present uh, the coveted trophy and the check of rupees one like for the highest goal scorer of the league of the season. Let's welcome uh, with 20 goals to her name. She ran away from the pack. Uh, it's uh, El Shaddai Achimpong. And the most ever awaited individual award of the tournament, the hero of the league, the one player who has outperformed and outclassed and been outstanding with a consistency and performance throughout the league. She had 14 goals and many an assist. Yes, it is Malaysia! Kalyan, she's been in great form. And now the team prizes. I'd like to request uh, the captain of the runners up, Sandhya Ranganathan, to kindly come along and claim the runners-up check of rupees five legs from Mr. Asirbad Bera. It's uh, Seto Madurai, the runners-up of the Hero Indian Women's League 2021-22. They've done well. Unbeaten until up to this day, ladies and gentlemen. A great performance. And now it's time to crown the heroes. But before that, before we hand over and go with uh, the other parts of the ceremony, we would like to request uh, the winners. One by one. Please come along to collect uh, your medals. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of Hero Indian Women's League 2021 22. Take a bow. It's uh, Glockwiller. FC
Please come along. The captain can come last. Come, come, come along. Walk along. Move, come along for your medals. Deserving champions, unbeaten throughout the tournament. Those were the medals. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the champions of the Hero Indian Rebels League 2021 22, the captain coming along to take this check of rupees uh, 10 lakhs uh, from uh, the Honorable Minister Sri Tushar Kanti Bera, Isaduti Chauhan, for. Gokulam Kerala Football Club. I would like to thank our esteemed dignitaries for your gracious presence out here on the podium. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for coming along. The entire team of Gokulam FC to join the captain on the stage for the celebrations. Congratulations once more to the champions of India, Gokulam Kerala FC. Make some noise, champion!